Hi guys and welcome back to Fiction Food Friday and happy National Chocolate Cake Day. In honor of the unofficial yet highly appreciated holiday, we're going to make this seriously huge Bruce Bogtrotter chocolate cake from Matilda. Remember when Bruce Bogtrotter had a piece of the Trunchbull's cake so she made him eat the whole thing? That's, that's the wrong clip. Pull up the right one. Silence! Yeah. Now this cake is ginormous, so if you decide that you want to size it down, I won't send you to the chokey. But because it's so big, I'm gonna make it with cake mixes today to save a little money, cause I don't have a lot of it, and a little bit of time. But I will put a recipe down below for a homemade cake if you want it. So here's what you'll need. Nine boxes of Devil's Food Cake Mix and their required ingredients. About five to six cups of chocolate buttercream. Three cups of heavy cream. Five cups of chocolate chips. One third cup of corn syrup. A 16 inch pan and the hugest lunch lady platter you can find. We'll start by making our cakes. It's a three layer cake, so you'll need to make essentially three different cakes. And they're all huge. I highly suggest using parchment paper and lots of nonstick spray. If you're looking at this thing and thinking, oh my gosh, this is so huge, I can't do it. Just tell yourself, yes, you pan. So for each layer, you'll need three boxes of cake mix along with all the ingredients that the cake mix calls for. This is a lot of stuff, you guys. Put all three batters into the greased cake pan with parchment paper at the bottom so that it slips right out. And then bake it at 325 for about 55 to 60 minutes. Once it's done, let it cool. Take it out of the pan and then bake your other two cakes. I decided I wanted to freeze my cakes so that they'd be easy to work with. Now, you don't have to, but it's a real pain in the coolie when you go to stack your cakes and it all just falls apart. So you can go ahead and level the cakes off if you need to. Then take your chocolate buttercream and put a nice layer on top of one of your cakes. Put your other cake layer on top. Cover that with chocolate buttercream and then finish it off with the top layer. Smooth your side edges with either a spatula or a knife and then stick the cake in the fridge uh, if it fits. And in the meantime, let's make our chocolate ganache. So gather your Agatha. This is Magnus. Give my bumblebee her house and her money. Okay, now with your Matilda powers, summon your chocolate chips, heavy cream, and corn syrup. Then mix your corn syrup in with your heavy cream and heat it with your eyes. If you can't heat it with your eyes, you can just do it in the microwave. Stick it in there for about one to two minutes and then once it's nice and hot, we'll add in our chocolate. Add your chocolate right into the bowl. Don't splash yourself. Stir it in until the chocolate's all melted and everything is nice and smooth. Should have used a bigger bowl. And once everything's melted, you wanna let your ganache set for about 30 minutes or so so that it thickens up and it's got that nice smeary consistency. And if you look at the bog trotter cake, you'll notice that it's thick and it's not runny. So we wanna let it sit so that it doesn't drip all down the cake. We can actually spread it around. And once it's set, it should be nice and thick like frosting. And then you can go ahead and spread it all over the cake make some nice little smeary designs. I don't know why I keep saying smeary, but make some uh, spready designs to match the bog trotter cake. And that's it. You wanted cake, you got cake. Now eat it! <laughs> and that wraps up another Fiction Food Friday. Make sure to comment down below and let me know of other fiction foods you guys wanna see. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.